Hello, what we're going to do is download the star database. So we're going to type in HYG star database. And then we're going to click search. This is the HYG star database. It's a database that has a list of all the stars in the sky. We're going to click on it. And we're going to go to HYG database, the uh, Astronomy Nexus. We're going to click on that, and here is the web page. And it shows you the database, the HYG database. And if you scroll down on the web page, it will show you, it gives an explanation of all the items on the database. It tells you what's on it. It tells you that they have the stars, and it gives you an explanation of everything that's on the star database. Star identification number, the name of the star, the right ascension and declination, and all the classifications of the stars with the explanations. So everything that's on this database is a little explanation of what's here. So now we're going to go back up here, and we're going to download the database. This is the one we want here. All right, we're going to down, we're going to click on this database here. There's a couple of them. They all have different information. This is the one we want. We're going to click on that. H one G database. Open this database. All right. Here we go. Now, allow. Yeah. Here it is now. Now we have the database downloaded on the computer. We're going to click it and sooner or later, see my, my setup is that the open office will open this file automatically because it's going to open up the databases. So now it opens up the open office application. Alright, now watch what happens. Now this box comes up here and says, is this what you want? That's this database. Is that is that it? Yeah. That's it. Alright, great. Very good. That's what you want. Click. Okay. Good enough. Here it is. This is the open office star database. It has thousands of stars on a database. Thousands of them. The only ones we want to work with are the stars that have names. And there's only about a hundred of them that have names. And they, the stars that have names are the ones that they use for navigation. Alright, so now we're going to click. We're going to try to uh, sort this. But you see, this is the database that's associated with the one on the internet. So it's protected. So you can't do anything with it. So now you say, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to make a copy from my own files, and I'm going to edit it, and then click, and it says, you want to make a copy for your files? Yeah, sure. Click. This is the one. Now, this file, I can edit because it belongs to me. The one on the Internet is, is protected, so you can't touch that one. This one here is a copy for me. So now, I can sort this file. I go to the name. See, it has sort. Now, it's now the sort... You can you can sort the uh, the stars by name. So I highlight the name the name column, proper name. Highlight that and then sort it by name. There it goes. <clears throat> so now all the stars are sorted by names, but the stars that are names don't appear until like the middle of the uh, the column. But these things are sorted by. They have not well. You'll see. You have to scroll down a little bit. You see on the right side where the where the where the uh, the lever is. This is about approximately where the stars that have names appear. So now you have the stars with the names. All right. I'm going to start with the you know with the letter A. First star with the name is Achenar. So we're going to copy the stars beginning with Achenar, and we're going to. So we're going to highlight the ones we want to copy. And all the stars that have names, we're going to copy. So now we right click. These are the stars that have names. So we're going to right click and go to copy. 
copy. Now we just copied all the stars that have names. What we're going to do is open up a new spreadsheet. This is a new one. <clears throat> all right. It says new, and then it says spreadsheet. A new spreadsheet. Click that. And now you see it's the new spreadsheet. Nothing's on it. So now you right click here, or it says A1, right click. And now go to paste. So all the stars that you copied, you're going to paste them here. So now you have a new spreadsheet, and this spreadsheet only has the stars that have names. All right? This is a spreadsheet, a new one that we have that only has stars that have names. Ha ha. Now we're, we're getting somewhere. So what we're going to do now is copy it. I mean, we're going to we're going to save this new spreadsheet. That's what we want. We want a new spreadsheet that only has the stars that have names. Why? Because this, these are the stars that we work with when we we're trying to get from one place to another. We use them for navigation. We used to use them for navigation. The old, well, just for you know, for your own information, this is how they used to navigate. So now I'm going to save as. I'm going to save the file as stars with name. I already have some star files on here, so what I have to do is go back and type in a new name for this file. Stars with name. And I'm going to save this new spreadsheet, stars with name, in my documents. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> now stars with name save this new spreadsheet in documents my documents ta-da stars with name my documents save it click now shut things down shut everything down close this thing down. shut it down close it up I'm going home that's all close it shut it down shut this down close that close this one here shut that down now we're going to go to my documents to make sure that the file we just made is there my documents here's a list of all the files I have on my documents looking for stars with name and here it is there stars with name that's the new file we just made we're going to click it just to make sure everything's all right and there it is that's the new spreadsheet we just made and it only has the stars with name Ta -da. now now we have something to work with so we're going to continue